So tonight, yes, by popular demand, I had a lot of people reach out. Now, don't get excited. No, these are not Stampin' Up! gnomes, okay? <laughs> but you know me, and you know I love gnomes. And yes, I found these on a contraband site, but what I want to show you tonight is the boxes, because to me, this is a great um, box for any occasion. And yep, there's Phoebe crawling up my leg. <laughs> Oh, Phoebe's. Oh, my goodness. But um, this box is something that I came up with because, yes, I have I have customers that absolutely love to get a little bit of a an adult beverage, right? So these are, um, it's like a schnapps. It's a liqueur, and it comes in lots of different flavors. Now, if you are from the Fargo-Moorhead area, for some reason, North Dakota distributors distributors do not carry this but if you go to Detroit Lakes you can find it there or I'm assuming somewhere in Moorhead um, would have this as well but last year when I use these these are the same size as Fireball and I'm sure people know <laughs> what Fireball is so this is the same size but last year um, in Minnesota they had like 10 different flavors of this so it was kind of fun for holiday giving um, but right now I just have the apple pie cherry menthol there was a butterscotch one Lots of different flavors, but that's what we were using tonight. So I didn't I designed this box <laughs> To fit a little bit of adult beverage and then these candies I found last year at Costco and I was so very excited because I uh, Saw them a couple weeks ago. So they did come back. You want to look for a tub like this and it's almond toffee um, Covered in milk chocolate and you know, I'm not a huge milk chocolate fan or chocolate fan but these are quite divine. I was absolutely pleasantly surprised. Um, they are very addictive. <laughs> so I'm just warning you there. But I also love that it's they um, look a little elegant too as well. So tonight I'm going to show you how to make this box um, so it will fit those. And then I have a little bit of a different version for this if you want to be extra festive on the inside. So let's get to it. Now, Miss Denise Peters, I see you're watching and you're going <laughs> to <laughs> be very upset because I couldn't get away from weird measurements but I'm going to this should make you giggle just a little bit okay so we're gonna start with two pieces of cardstock okay so I need a base which is this this one's not too terribly bad it's gonna be five and three quarters wide by six and three eighths okay and then you're gonna score it all around on each side, one and one quarter. So you can kind of see I've done that for you um, in this picture, right? Now the cover is where it gets a little tricky. And I'm gonna get the ruler out so I can show you what I mean by this. So the cover is gonna be four and three quarters and one tiny line, okay? And there's a reason why we have to add that line onto our measurements, I'll get to that. And then it's gonna be five and three eighths plus one line. So when you're making a box, of course, the cover is going to go across the box and down. So we need just a sliver of, an, uh, of a hair of a, why uh, one line, right? Because we're going to go through two layers. Think of it this way. I need to compensate for two pieces of cardstock so it goes over the side plus a little bit of folding. So that's why we're going to do one line. So let me show you on the ruler what that means. Okay. So. Let's turn it this way so you can see it's going the right way. Okay, so when I say four and three quarters, that four and three quarters would be right here. I'm going to try to hold still. Give me just a minute. So one quarter, four and a half, four and three quarters there. When I say one line, I'm literally talking about, <laughs> what is that? One in, it's half of one eighth. Okay, so that's enough to get that, that cover. So that's what I'm talking about with the one line. Okay, the base, the six and three quarters, if you're using this cutter, gets a little tricky because when you do this, the six, uh, we need six and three eighths. So six and three eighths, there's going to be six. And then what I do is I find the half because, of course, it's right on the joint here. So the six and a half would be there, right? So that's a qu uh, one quarter. So <laughs> to me, the 
six and three eighths is going to be right past where that joint is. Okay. I know it's hard. I couldn't get by it, but that's unfortunately where it's going to, to land for the base. Okay. You with me so far? It gets tricky. I know, but boxes are fun and you can make them any size you want, which is even better to me. I love them. Okay. So when you're making a box of any size, you want to make sure that, cause we have to bring up the sides, right? So I'm going to cut up here and up here, and I'm just cutting on those score lines, okay? Now, when you cut, you want to turn it all the way around so you're cutting on the exact opposite side. If you want to cut here and here, that's fine. Just make sure the cutting is on the direct opposite side or your box is going to have trouble getting put together. And then my other little trick, especially when you're using good cardstock like Stamp It Up, I like to take a little bit of a sliver off of the tab piece. Okay, so I'm going to come over and do this one. Denise, you're not crying, are you? <laughs> the measurements, I'm sorry. You can, bl you can blame the um, adult beverage companies for making odd, odd size bottles, right? <laughs> so there's that one. I'm going to do my top at the same time here. Hopefully I didn't lose you. Or the concentration maybe is what it is. Um, I know the Christmas show that I do, I only do one Christmas show a year. I still have uh, <laughs> a little bit of PS <laughs> PST <laughs> for from the first time I did, we call them um, booze boxes, and it was with the chocolate bombs. If anyone remembers those, um, I can remember mom and I were at, and it's in a Catholic church, and uh, I, I'm I, like, what if mom, I said, mom, what if no one likes these? What am I going to do with all these boxes? And she's like, they'll be fine. The doors opened, and I don't think I will ever forget seeing four people deep. Uh, crazy women going after these booze boxes. Uh, we sold out, I think, in a half hour. And we still had people coming up after going, are you the booze box lady? So I don't know if it's a good reputation <laughs> to have, but I feel compelled every year to kind of come up with a, a fun gift-giving idea with um, some fun little adult beverages. And I've got some more ideas coming. Okay, so we've got this all folded. I'm killing you. I'm sorry, Denise. <laughs> okay, so when you're making boxes, uh, my, oh, hello, mother. It's okay you're that you're late. Boxes. Boxes, I prefer not to use glue. And um, my preferred method is using the blue stamp and seal plus, or I will use double-sided tape, okay? And the reason being is boxes typically have some, uh, they have weight, right? Whatever you're putting in them has a little bit of weight. So I want to make sure the box stays together. And um, sometimes glue will give, you know, it gets wet. And um, it just, to me, it doesn't hold as well as this does. And yes, I know you either love or hate, hate the stamp it up stamp and seal because it is tricky but this one because it has dashes in it this oh i love it's this one is my favorite and we do have the two i'm talking about the stamp and seal plus is my favorite okay so now to put your box together we're just going to line up and put our corners together like a so right Oh, you're too Connie. I'm sorry. <laughs> do but do you guys like making boxes? If they were if they were easy measurements, do you like making boxes? Because I won't show any more boxes. I, I you want to make you happy, right? Because I had to, I have two more boxes that I want to show you over the next couple weeks. 
Um, one of them isn't too, I'm trying to think the measurements might not be too terribly bad on those. So we have our bottom, okay? So now we're gonna do our top. Same way, it's just I make my lids not as deep because I just want it to be covered, right? And yes, I was still in mourning that we didn't have any more gnomes <laughs> from Stamp It Up. So yeah, I just, <laughs> yes, if it's easy. No make boxes, just, to, oh, I love it. Okay, Connie, yes, because I did try to make the measurements, um, but I, I like to have my boxes pretty tight for what I'm going to have into it because I don't want stuff rolling around in there. Um, but I will show you the, the next couple boxes we're going to make and see what you think. So I'm just matching up the corners. Now see how I got off because I was talking and trying to craft at the same time. I'm going to show you how I fix that. Let's come over here. And it's kind of odd because I'm usually not, um, I usually don't start getting ready this early, but... I don't know, I felt the need to <laughs> sit down and put my brain to work on some crafting ideas. So now see how it came. I'm going to try to hold this so you can see. There is a little bit sticking up. And that's okay. I just come in here and I'm going to feather it off. No one knows that I did that. Except you and I, right? And it just kind of squares off that lid. Okay? And because we did that one extra line... See how nice that cover goes on? So it's just giving, it's just a hair bigger than the bottom, okay? Super easy box. And then we can put our goodies in here, right? We get some chocolate. And um, I am a good one and I love presentation, right? Because um, I want that person to feel really special when they get their box. Even if it's not something that I'm giving, if I'm making it for somebody else to give. Jerry, I gotta put Jerry down. Jerry was gonna come in and craft with us too. I like to kind of stack them in there like so, okay? So now I'm gonna put my lid back on and it fits really nice, okay? And then I am one, I love to make pretty packages, right? And um, this one, I'm going to put this. Isn't that pretty? So it's old olive with our packages. So I'm just going to glue this one down. Look at that. Isn't that Nordic print? Here comes Jerry. Oh, Jerry. <laughs> oh, Jerry. <laughs> Jerry needs love. Uh oh, a big five. <laughs> yes, Denise. But it's, okay, so isn't that cute? The Nordic print, it's really hard to want to use the other side because I am a Nordic print fanatic. I love it. But I want to show you um, how cute this is going to be because I'm I'm hoping that you have those friends. You just, you want to give them something, a little bit of something, right? And um, I love to make it pretty and then put, um, I'll show you here in a minute. Isn't that pretty? The paper is just, I was pleasantly surprised with this one because of all the polar bears, right? But I thought, okay, this would be cute. Now remember what's in the box. Tidings of comfort and joy. <laughs> we have adult beverage and chocolate, right? So it's one of those gifts where you're like, oh, it's really pretty. And they open it up. And it's like, oh, that... <laughs> yes, there is some comfort and joy in there, right? So this one, I think I want to amp it up just a little bit. So I have this really pretty gold shimmer paper. And um, doesn't that, isn't that pretty? It's just a little bit. And I'm going to cut um, that. Let's see here. I'm going to cut it so it's completely square all around. And I got to do it. You know, I use, I use my cutter upside down. I know it's crazy, but it's my left-handedness. And I can re I'm just used to looking at my numbers upside down. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna put this here. Isn't that pretty? 
and then we put it is just the cutest little box when I got done and we can mount that up and I have a cute little fork bowl to go with it I want to give it a little bit of dimension especially when I know I don't have to mail it I'm always gonna pop things up a bit so let's put some dimensionals on there <laughs> see that so Denise you're gonna come way down here to pick up boxes right <laughs> you you are so funny yes it gets a little crazy um, just because I have repeat customers and they look forward to that one show that I do and I said you got to get there you got to get there early <laughs> but yes I end up taking orders if I'm not too terribly busy with other things I do take orders I have to say that because some people might be watching that are you sure are used to ordering they're like what so isn't that cute and then I made a cute fork bowl does everyone know what a fork bowl is yes I get my trusty remember my fork but I'm gonna put that here and I got the cutest little box what do you think it's so cute and I love the touches of gold just to give it a little bit of um, more to it but the the box is yes the, and I'm so sad because the greetings that I found um look at this one that's not stamp it up right you make me smile no matter what they're so cute but I had um when I was down at the retreat in my head I knew what I had at home and I'm like I gotta make one more version of this box so you'll notice it's just a little bit taller, right? Isn't this pretty though? I wanna show you this. I was very proud of myself today when I was making this because I forget we have these fun pearlized enamel effects. And this, so I did my little holly berries. Let me see if I can pull this up here. And I have, I think it's gold, silver, and red that you get all together, but look at how fun that is. And it gives dimension. I'm gonna try to hold it still. I know when I, Get too close it gets blurry I'll give it just a minute here come on get in focus here maybe or maybe it's because I'm moving but the holly berries have dimension to them and then I just um, colored the leaves a little bit and this bow is in a die set uh, that is a wreath in the main catalog but are you ready to see the inside do you remember these from last year you ready <laughs> So I found these cute hats and scarf set on Amazon. So I've dressed up my adult beverage with a little bit of <laughs> Christmas. I have to take this out and show you because it is cute. So I found these little hats on Amazon. Some like, oh, bless her soul. She's, she said, oh my goodness, did you crochet those? I'm like, no. Amazon did though. And they did awesome but they come and you can get the matching scarf with them and last year i had made sleighs and so these were my sleigh uh, driver so i wanted to do something different with these but i thought it would be cute to have just a little bit more on the inside for your adult beverage so i made it just a little bit taller and i that's why i love making boxes because i kind of just sit and i measure out how I, what i want to put first i decide what i want to put in the box and then I decide how big it needs to be and kind of measure it out. But isn't it cute? <laughs> it just, I had so much fun with these. Now, um, the other ones that you guys saw, I, I'm going to, I'm going to let you guys decide. How about that? So there are two other boxes that I had made that a couple of people had reached out because they're like, I want to know what that is, right? So I have this one. And again, guys, I'm so sorry. This is not a stamp it up. Okay, I went looking for it, and actually this was gifted to me by somebody, these little gnomes. But look at this beautiful Stamp It Up paper. So all the paper is Stamp It Up, but isn't that cute? So I designed this box that holds a single bottle of wine. Okay, so that goes in there. I found these amazing. Has anyone heard of these before? These are, so these are not bath bombs. Um, these go in your shower. 
and um, they're they're effervescent in the shower, and they smell. Oh, they're so amazing, right? Um, I found these again on Amazon, and so what I thought would be fun is for a girlfriend gift to be able to put a bottle, of, a little bottle of wine in there. We'll put some good smellies to have a wonderful shower, and then there's enough room right here to put two of these amazing chocolates that I found at um, Costco. So I made the box just big enough for those two. But isn't that just a cute little friend gift? Just when you want to give a little bit of something. So this was one that I was thinking of if you want me to show you how to make this. And I definitely want to show you how to make this one. Ashley had taught us this. It is super cute. Now this is all stamp it up. <laughs> but look at how cute this is. It holds two chocolates and we did a test. So it will, these are lint chocolates, the small or the round ones, but they also hold the two candies that, um, that I showed you in the bucket too. But we use little magnets. So to me, they're very professional looking um, that I'm gonna show you where I got them on Amazon, but they, they close just like a purse, right? But look at this one, what Ashley made. And I love, she keeps all of her paper pumpkin extra pieces in a little tackle box. And she let them pick on what they wanted to pull out there, just the perfect little things to add to your projects. And then again, we've got the treats inside. This one, she we even went as far as she put um, a tiny little uh, circle of the matching paper so it would just blend right in. Bless her, she, <laughs> she loves the detail. Um, but when she taught us, she had cut out some mousse uh, this was a punch and I did this one too because I loved the, the green uh, buffalo check and of course I ate the candy because there was vanilla ones in there but isn't that cute I thought they would make really good table uh, favors so I can show you these if that's something that you want to see or we can go we can go to cards next week so I'm going to let you pick do you want to see another box or do you want to see a card okay so I'll let you pick but I will be putting dimensions on here. Don't hate me, Denise <laughs> and Connie. So you can try it again. And if you have trouble looking on your ruler by what these mean, I can mark them on the ruler for you so you know exactly where you need to cut and score. But they are super cute and they're awesome to give to somebody because it just, it's a little bit of something, right? And it's homemade.